yet again, we are here at the Edge Automotive getting some stuff done on the Jeep. Today, it's going to be some skid plates. And I want to show you why. If we come underneath here and we take a look up here to the oil pan, there is some nice hits that the oil pan has taken in the past. And that's a little scary. If you're out on a trail and you puncture that oil pan, you're going to have a bad, bad day. And so as soon as we saw this, which we saw this when we were installing the RCVs, we made the choice that it's time to get some full skid plates on the Jeep. So what do we have? Well, this is kind of cool stuff right here. We went with a full skid plate system from Next Venture Motorsports. There's three main components here. That's the other one over here. The third or the second one and the third one over here. Now there are some steel components that go with it, which we've painted black just to prevent some rust. And of course, Noah, who has done a ton of work on the Jeep is going to be putting the skid plates on today. Uh, should go pretty smooth. Looks pretty easy. Looks pretty straightforward so far. And Probably the stuff is light. Yeah, that's the best part about it so far. Now, on the bottom of it, there is a ultra high molecular weight <laughs> plastic. And Mouthful. that stuff is crazy. It is super, super slick. So with steel, if you hit something, you'll skid over it. But if you hit too hard, it'll bend it and it'll stay that way. With these being aluminum, they'll flex and kind of have memory to come back. But with this plastic, you're not going to gouge into the aluminum. So I'm hoping this is going to be a good call. Yeah. Plus, they're 60 pounds lighter than most of the steel ones out there. So we're going to let Noah get to work, get this thing installed. Let's do it. So this section covers the gas tank. And this is the reason why I brought it to the Edge Automotive to have them do this install instead of trying to do it myself is because you have to undo the gas tank and kind of drop it and then ratchet it back up and then get this plate on. That's a pretty difficult thing to do without a lift. If it was just bolting things up, that'd be one thing. But because of having to deal with that gas tank, that's the main, well, that is the reason why I decided not to try and do this myself. But this looks so nice. You got that clean aluminum on here with the plastic bottom. This is going to be really sweet. So we're making some progress. Well, as long as I'm over here at the edge, I want to show you something that they just got into stock. They are now a distributor of the Lava Box. This is super, super cool. I did an interview with them at Overland Expo. I thought it was one of the coolest things I saw at the show. And what this is, well, basically it's an ammo can here that's set up as a propane um, fire pit. So for all of us who have fire bans during the summer and you want to have that little campfire going, this is a great alternative. Just connect it to your propane tank and it's ready to go. Inside it has a burner system and these cool little rocks that go in there to help distribute the heat. This thing is fantastic. And they are super, super hard to come by oh, because they are super popular. But if you're interested in a lava box, give the guys over at the edge a call. They're now a distributor. So there we have it. The Next Venture Motorsports aluminum skid plate with the ultra high molecular density plastic on the bottom of it. This thing is super slick. I'm really, really happy with this. No more <laughs> having to worry about the oil pan. It's completely covered. Everything down here is completely covered. The gas tank is completely covered. We have a ton of protection down here without much weight uh, issues. We took off a lot of steel, the cross members and the gas tank skid plate that was a lot of weight and it's probably pretty close to what this weighs so we didn't really add much to it versus going with completely steel skid plates 
that would have been an additional 60 to 80 pounds depending on the brand. So we saved weight, we have aluminum which is going to have some flex to it, and we have the uh, plastic coating on the bottom which is going to help it to slide over things a lot better. So that's it. Did a great job. No one knocked this out pretty quick getting this all up and running and uh, I can't wait to get this on the trail and try and go hit some rocks with it. So thanks for watching everybody. This has been Carrie with Trail Traveler. We'll catch you on the trail.